Hi guys, welcome to Footprints with Mo. I hope everybody's doing well. Make sure that you've subscribed and turn on your notifications. Well, I have just come back from holiday. It was my baby's birthday in Mombasa. Fantastic, fantastic time. As you can see, I am completely sunburned and I'm very excited. Guess what, guys? I'm in Lodwa with the Save the Children UK and Save uh, the Children Kenya team. And I am so, so excited to just show you guys about what the work that they're doing here and also just to try and experience what goes on here and what life is about here. Stay tuned. It's a very vast county, yeah. 77,000 square kilometers, wow. yeah, with, uh, with, with, um, with a population right now of about 1.2, 1.3 million. Yeah. So we have programs uh, running in all the sub-counties with the exception of Trukana West. Okay. Generally, Trukana County is very uh, peaceful except for a few hot spots, yeah. specifically usually along the borders. Yeah. We're at the Save the Children office and we've just got our security briefing and we're about to go to the field and I'm quite excited. We're going to start off with a place called Namukuse. So Namukuse is, um, I think, along Lake Tukana. So I'm actually very excited that I'll be able to finally see Lake Tukana. But the story behind it is a little bit different. So the first stop we're doing is around a HIV AIDS uh, program. And one of the projects under Save the Children is the Elton John, yes, the artist, the Elton John AIDS Foundation, whereby they do a lot of intervention, prevention, and care programs for HIV AIDS uh, adolescents and mothers and just basically everyone in the community. Guys, if if you need to understand the importance of education, it's today. Kids don't go to school. They have peers who are married and who are sexually active and who have children. And guess what? The kids get curious. They want to know what is, what is sex about. Um, and they get lured maybe. And as I found out today, we have the tycoons of Turkana. So maybe the fishermen. And they lure these young girls because they're not in school, they have nothing to do, they have nothing to lose. So, whenever we have issues in the society, we also need to think about the root cause of these problems and how we can be able to solve it. Anyway, let me not talk too much. Uh, we're going to take another two hour drive, uh, two to two and a half hours drive to Namukuse, whereby I'll be able to show you more about their HIV AIDS program. So, let's go. So guys, we are on our way to Namukuse. I wanted you guys to say hi to uh, who I'm with today. So that's Cecilia and this is Robert. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. So by the way guys, one of the really, really important things that we've actually been told today, and Robert was kind enough to, to, to brief us on it, is around um, child uh, safeguarding guidelines. So basically, we have just been briefed on how we need to be able to engage these children because they are very vulnerable. So it's it's around making sure that first of all we treat them with dignity um, as as children as human beings. But then apart from that is that any activity or anything we do does not bring harm or any danger or make the children feel uncomfortable. So it's 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 I think it's very very important and uh, I have to I have to commend so the children to make sure that. They, they actually give these guidelines so that we know how to handle these kids. For the next two hours, we're on the road and let's see where this one goes. Yeah. It's hot, it's hot, and it's very dry. Very, very dry, but quite an interesting drive. I'm just looking forward for us to get where we are. Mo, 
more than two hours drive. We finally reached to Namukuse. This is what? This is the this is a, a health facility uh -huh. for Namukuse. Namukuse Health Center, which is supported by Safety Children. Yeah. And the USA, as you can see. As you can see, um, we're about to start shooting um, in this bursary and they're talking to a few um, of the people so they can be able to sign consent forms. And I like that, you just don't go taking pictures and videos around. And my God, this place is hot, yeah? You know, I thought, the way I thought I'd been sunburned in Mombasa, I think I'll come black. <laughs> and black, looking like charcoal when I'm back in Nairobi. But I'm so excited, I can't wait to show you guys what this is about. So let's get the consent forms signed and then we go in. What we have done to, at the moment is that we are looking at the young girls, yes. focusing on them, yeah. and to see how best we can support them, yeah. so that they can really see the reality and see how they can cope up with the situation. So yes. the biggest problem is around um, preg early pregnancies and HIV. Yes, 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 wow. yes, yeah. yeah. For the young girls. Yeah. And so, and you see, because we've been yeah. along the leg, huh? yeah. there's a lot of money. Yeah. And so, exchanging, selling fish and whatever. Yeah. So, young girls drop out and they get out pregnancy yeah. because of that. Yeah. And then you find the young boys are also mm, dropping out because yeah. they see they can make quick money. Then yeah. waiting in school, taking yeah. all these eight yeah. years in yeah. school. So they find that to be yeah. a bit easy. And, and I've actually realized a lot of things go wrong mm. when people actually don't go to school. Yes. Because they're idle, they're vulnerable. Mm -hmm. and in fact, yeah, if you you read the the illiteracy yeah. is very, very high. Yeah. By the way, the ladies here, yeah. working ladies from this Namuksa uh, location, yeah. I can read it to zero. Wow. Just because the interest is very low in education. Yeah. But uh, I believe the way we are creating awareness, the way yeah. we are bringing to them the reality, the yeah. future and all yeah. that. And also yeah. bringing some girls from other places to yeah. see them, yeah. how they are progressing. Yeah. Yeah. We tell them, now we are the role models. Yeah. Just yeah. look at yeah. us yeah. and yeah. we have changed. Yeah. Did you get a package shock when you started working? Yes, I did. Yeah. The first yeah. thing I got, the biggest shock, yeah. was about each other. You know, I was brought here by Ekpa and uh, the people asking me, why are you going to Namukses in a bush? Yeah. But I have an interest because I worked with NGOs throughout. And so I said, no, I mean, I like those places which are closed, places where I can see the impact of yeah. working. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Mm. So I was brought by a vehicle and it's thrown here and I yeah. just said, let me see what I can do. Yeah. Now, getting to the CCC, where now we, yeah, we test and whatever, I just found what shocked me was a family that the, about five or four people are all uh, positive. Yeah. Which to me, it really shocked me. And it started opening my eyes. Yeah. And when I looked at the records, the register that uh, James had been handling, and James is, is not really a clinician, but he has been handling it alone in this facility. Yeah. I found that he was finding, he was getting so many clients, but at one point, they were just getting lost. They were dying. So our, our, my key area to address was to find out why were these people dying? Yeah. Why were they getting lost? Mm. As I was in, trying to think in the midst of that, NGOs came in. And I think we shared a lot. Yeah. And I said, the only thing is what we are lacking on our clients is the follow-up. Mm. And also why I see that a family, you get like four people, they are all positive. It means that we don't have an intervention yeah. immediately. Yeah. We are going yeah. to get the whole family going. Yeah, like sure. what was happening yeah. in Syria. Yeah, it could be wiped out. Yeah. Yes. And so Indiana. what they, we did is that we started this community component. We, we have community health workers. We have the mental mothers. We have the expert clients. So that they can be able to follow up and give their living examples. See what they can be able to do. And it, just incorporating that community component. Mm. If you see our pre heart uh, pre heart register, you will see the difference before 2014 mm. and now. Mm. You will hardly see that, you know, those to follow, yeah. died and whatever. Because we got the community component and we started now trying to trust them and giving education at the community level. Okay. But we are trying gradually. We hope they will pick up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, actually not trying. Mm. Not doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We are the dispensary and 
I'd like you guys to meet Josephine and Sarah, um, plus baby here. They're HIV positive, uh, but baby here is, I think what you call HIV, HIV exposed uh, infant, whereby they have to wait about 18 months so that they can be able to confirm whether the baby is actually HIV positive or HIV negative. Uh, but the baby is HIV negative right now. And they've, they've agreed to talk to us and just discuss different things so that we can be able to understand their story and um, their challenges and exactly what happened. So, Josephine, will you join me? Will you join me? Will you join me? Will you join me? He's the second wife. Um, her husband came with the first wife to the hospital. And then they were tested and then they were found to be HIV positive. So she got uh, shocked because then how did it happen that uh, I'm the only one who is HIV positive with the husband and yet the first wife she's negative. They were taken through counseling and they were counseled, they were supported, they put advice, they came to know that even if you're HIV positive you can still live a positive life. Mm -hmm. You need to eat properly, you need to live uh, positively, you don't have to worry, you don't have to be anxious of anything. What you need to require is what you require is to start ARVs, which they, they accepted and they started. Uh, HIV positive. She has um, a child of uh, 18 months. She's um, she's um, HIV negative. Oh, that's good. That's 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 good that the baby is HIV negative. Are you still with your husband? The last time they were together, it was from when they were doing the HIV testing. Then immediately after that, he just yeah. went and took her, his things and left. Because of the situation. She doesn't also understand, but I think uh, maybe the fact that uh, we were in that situation, he decided to leave me. Uh, so what plans do you have for your daughter? And, and what are some of the things that you're going to try uh, to put in place the way you've seen things happening to make sure that you're trying to keep your daughter safe? She managed to make sure that she's HIV negative regardless of the fact that she was under her care with her HIV positive status. Number two is that as she's growing, I understand the challenges that, they, that are there uh, surrounding uh, adolescence. So I'm going to start talking to her about HIV and how to avoid it. Okay, fantastic. Josephine, are you working? What's your source of income? How do you provide for your daughter? She, she does not have a formal employment. She goes along the, the lecture doing casual work. Mm -hmm. She does the scaling. Mm -hmm. she, she removes the scales from the fish mm -hmm. and then she is given uh, some money. Mm -hmm. And that's what she uses to take care of herself and her, her daughter. I want to understand what your dreams for the future are for you and your daughter because the fact that you are under medication and you're taking care of yourself and you're taking care of your daughter means you have a long future ahead. So what are your what are your plans? What are your dreams? What are your wishes? She's dreaming to be a very big and prosperous businesswoman. Yeah. But the challenge is she has no capital to do yeah. that. She's not worried about uh, mm. her status, HIV, you know. She's just dreaming that if I had capital, yeah. I would do business around and become the uh, mogul around yeah. you know, and everybody will come for, for our business and I will be the one, this is just business, uh, business and so on and so on. So I think, I think you're doing a fantastic job and then please make sure, um, I think education is provided here, make sure your daughter finishes school because education will be a very big factor. Alright, thank you so much Justin. Yeah. We're going to have a discussion with Sarah and her beautiful Toto called Jessica. Jessica is six months. As I've told you, Jessica is uh, HIV exposed because she's breastfeeding. And I thought one of the things that happens is that we stop the mother from breastfeeding if the child is HIV negative. Yeah, that is uh, uh, an intervention mm -hmm. for to, to make sure that they reduce maternal HIV transmission to the child. Mm -hmm. But on top, mm -hmm. attached to some uh, 
conditions mm. that the breastfeeding should be exclusive, yeah. only breastfeeding. Yeah. And uh, it must be for a period of time, mm. for six months, mm. and then we stop abruptly. Yeah. Without, while this is breastfeeding, without introducing any foods or yeah. anything orally. Yeah. When you look around, they can't even get none. You can't. They can't yeah. get none. So yeah. there's no alternative. If you give the baby uh, cow's milk yeah. or goat's milk, yeah. which maybe if you ask her, they might not even have a goat. So there's yeah. no any other alternative. alternative. So they just feed they the They just baby. have to breastfeed the baby. Okay. So Sarah, uh, how did you discover your HIV positive? Um, Sarah was married in the nearby village called yeah. Langage. Yeah. And then uh, one time she was sick. She was tested but she was not given the results. Mm. So she was asked to go and come with the husband. She told the husband, the husband refused. Then she went back herself and the results were she was at her hospital. Yeah. That was the end of the marriage. She was told to pack and go. That's the time she also came to realize she was pregnant of this kid. She got married at 15 years old uh. and uh, she lived with her husband without any kid. Yeah. He's the only one. Okay. Uh, uh. Mm. So, so was your husband way older? Apollo <laughs> Ugly Olo Rie Raja Reko Nawa. Ijaba Raja. He's an old man with two wives. She was the bad one. You're the third wife. My dream is to live, to, to live a better life, support my kid or my child, and to ensure that the child is safe. I can even go around and do some, some businesses. Mm. Although sometimes it becomes hard, you cannot get anywhere, you can get some, something. Sometimes I swallow medicine on the empty stomach. Uh, but then what I dream is whether I can get enough food for myself any other time I want when I'm selling my medicines. They, just like anybody else here, it's not only me. You have to go to the, sh the lake shore to get something to survive. So I want to, be, to, to remain healthy mm. and get to the lake to get something to survive. Mm. Right. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. And you're doing a good job. After everything we've discussed, Robert, I just want to know exactly what Save the Children do for HIV uh, AIDS related activities. Yeah, uh, we are running a program mm -hmm. called uh, Safe Spaces mm -hmm. for adolescent girls and mm -hmm. young women. Mm -hmm. uh, this is where we create a safe space mm -hmm. within the community mm -hmm. where adolescent girls and young women, mm -hmm. like the ones we've just spoken to, mm -hmm. uh, where they can come together, mm -hmm. they can share their experiences, mm -hmm. they can support each other. Mm -hmm. So we have a support group, mm -hmm. we, a psychosocial support group, mm -hmm. where they come together, those mm -hmm. who are already HIV positive, yeah. and, uh, and they're on care, yeah. they're on their yeah. So where they can come together, there's mm -hmm. always a support, support person, yeah. a mentor woman, a mother, yeah. Yeah. or our mentors who have, we have trained, yeah. they are either HIV negative or positive. Yeah. So them, they, they support that session. Yeah. Then bring the ideas together, support yeah. each other. Yeah. The main reason why we, we want to encourage them in the support groups is the, so that they can be retained on care. Achieve 100% yeah. adherence to yeah. their abuse. Yeah. Yeah. Because then, if, if, they, if they default, yeah. of course you expect some problems yeah. and, and they you, can get sick. you give them this ARVs for a lifetime? Yes, this okay. is for a lifetime treatment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, at any given time, you cannot stop air Okay. So for these young ladies, mm -hmm. we, um, them that are already um, uh, having children, mm -hmm. we link them to PMTCT program, yeah. the Prevention of Mother to yeah. Child yeah. HIV Transmission yeah. Program, yeah. Yeah. and which is run by uh, ECPAF mm -hmm. and, and um, Afia Timiza. Mm -hmm. They're supporting them as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. So we work right. together with those other NGOs. Right. Cool. Uh, I think I think that's great. I like the mentoring element, so yeah. they know they know they're not alone. Yeah. And there's somebody always there supporting them. Yeah. 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 Okay. So in the, during their safe space sessions, mm. we provide them with uh, some milk mm -hmm. and some biscuits. Oh, good. Yeah, mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. within the session. This will so encourage they, them. So they know they even get a meal. Yes, yeah. they even get a meal. Great job. I think I think that's fantastic, and I'm just happy. I'm just so happy to be working with you guys. Mm. 
and and I just hope we'll be able to do more for these women and girls. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you. I love you so much. Ali Sabariako. Um sana umebali kuniongelesha na nimeambiwa wewe na huu ni Sylvester Sylvester Bariako. Um na nimeambiwa nyinyi ni kama mentors, ni kama washauri, walimu um hamko na mnajua mko HIV positive na hamfichi mnaambia kila mtu ndio ndio mwezi kuwafundisha kwanza tuanze na wewe Alice mbona mbona unafikiria HIV inatambaa sana hapa Turkana hasa hapa kando ya bahari watu wanapata pesa nyingi sana wakati wa ufuaji na unaona mtu kama mwanaume anaweza hata wana wake 20 ama wana wake 10 sasa anasambaza na wile msichana pia anaona ni kwamba kuliko niende ni tafute kazi ili nibudishe yani ajimudu kimaisha wacha niwe nikifanya ngono na wanaume kwa so unapata kwamba unasamba ulikomolewa wakati ulipati ulipata HIV Yes. Ulikuwa na mtoto? Niko na watoto wanne. Watoto na wao wakoaje? Hali yao wako negative. Wote wote wako negative. Yeah. Na bwana mzee yuko? Mzee yuko. Mm. Mm. Na mnaongea mnachukua dawa kabisa kabisa. Mm. 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 Yu ni mzuri. Uh, na Sylvester, mm -hmm. unajua nafurahi sana kuwa nimepata kuongea na mwanaume. Kabisa. Kwa sababu sasa mwanaume ndio ataniambia mambo nini nafanyika. Yote. Sylvester uli uli, uli jua lini una HIV? Mimi niko na mbeka mzima mm sasa kwa sasa. Mhm. Mimi naye si kujua ya kwamba nitapata hiki tu. Mhm. Nilichukua mwanamke. Mhm. Ndakana nyumbani. Mm. Siku moja nikasikia tu mwili si yangu ya kawaida. Mhm. Mm Nini nini amenikula na nakwanga na nguvu hata za zingine na rokonga ile ngoma yetu naita ndo wako njia vizuri. Eh. <laughs> Nikasikia bwana nimekuwa mnyonge. Eh. Nika fikiri, eh, eh. siku moja nikaenda hospitali kwa mjio hospitali. Mm. Nika anza kusutuka kidogo. Eh. Na hiki tibi fikaji kwa mbubu wazi. Eh, nikwata eh. kuliza. Kwa nikwata kuliza. Juli, ili, ili toka kwa bibi ya <laughs> ili toka kwa wewe? Ili toka kwa wabi. Eh. Nika na mna hii nika wana. Mutu kuzali wa ni baati, lakini kila mutu yoyote hata kufa. Mm. Hata sahi ni, ni sutuke ni kazi kure. Mm. Hata nikiwa msema badu nita kufa kata tu shauri nikamwambia sasa na hiki tu mm. kuna dawa akaniambia mm. kuna dawa mm. sio mpate hiyo dawa mm. ndipata siku kama ya leo na kesho mm. yake nikamwambia tayari mm. watoto nao wawili ikapimwa ikapatikana na kuna hivyo na hiyo wote pia wewe na hapa na kuanga na nini nyingine kitu kama group hizi group support mm. mm. sasa sahili mimi naona watu na mimi nikaanza kuvunza kwa sababu kuna watu hapa wanaogopa unajua watu wengine wanajipisha mm. lakini mm. mimi uoga mm. ile ikaniishia mm. nikajua ya kwamba hata nikijipisha mambo ni ile ile ni ile 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 tu ni toe hata kiwa unanicheka hiyo ni shauri yako kwa sababu hata wata kujua au kukana bibi mkaanza kulizana ni nani alileta sasa wakati mmaliza hapa tukaenda nyumbani nikamwambia mama sasa mambo yamepatikana hata uende wapi nikazi mzee hata mimi nianda wapi sitichikane tu mkono mama akanizika mkono akaambia basi kama ninatoka sasa namna hiyo tuweza tutafanya namna gani lakini hakuna mtu aliambia mwingine wewe unjiniete ama wewe unfanya nini ni vizuri una unajua umuhimu wa elimu eh ndio vitu zibadilike vitu zisikwe the, the, the same eh sasa juu unajua vile unaona maisha iko unaona kinyi inafanyika kwa lecture unaona kinyi inafanyika kama watu wajui mambo eh kama watu wana education kwa hivyo unahakikisha watoto na kila mtu analeta katikati wa kuna education na yeye Sylvester watoto wako wako wawili kwa shule mmoja ni class 6 na ngine ni 5 alafu ile zingine zingine iko tatu mwingine mm. iko moja yeah. na moja bado kidogo yeah. <laughs> yeah. mm. mm. na 9 months 9 months kinyi napenda ni vile mumeamua kuwapeleka shule mm. unajua ni muhimu sana na, na, na ni vizuri na pia watoto wenu pia watasaidia watoto wenu ya yeah? unafanya yeah. kazi mzuri sana Sante. kazi mzuri sana Sante. na eh, tukikuwa pamoja na watu wa save the children tutafanya kile chochote tunaweza kufanya 
kuwa support asante mfanye kwa like endeleeni tuna kazi nzuri sana sana asante sana asante ah uh, silvester and alice mentors within the hiv program uh, here with save the children fantastic job and they decided to come out and just speak about it and it's absolutely admirable and they're changing lives by making sure that they bring people together and people can be able to test and get their status so that they can immediately be put on their IRVs. Yeah. So guys, today has been a fantastic day whereby we got to understand what Save the Children does around the HIV AIDS program. And I got to talk to different people and I think it's, 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 it's very important to see as I'd mentioned earlier, the issues that are around. So the prevalence is very high, and what Save the Children is trying to do is to manage um, this whole conversation and trying to see how they can be able to support. So bring people, uh, get people to mentor. You've seen what Alice and Sylvester are doing in terms of championing what the, the program is doing. Get ways of guests to come here. So one of the ways they've done it, you've seen, is to bring a TV set where people come and watch, and from there, they can be able to be educated and then get tested, so they can be able to be put on ARVs. We need to find a way to be able to make sure that all these kids are educated, and they are literate, and they know exactly what's going around. And that's why, with all the interviewees, I've actually mentioned what, what are the plans for the children, and are, are they in school? And then there's also the bit of how we can be able to make money. And something that challenged me, and I'm not gonna lie to you, at some point, I got upset because if you look at the ladies, most of them are abandoned when their husbands find out their, their HIV status. They're abandoned and I'm not here to judge anyone or say who brought it into the, into the relationship. But I'm glad and I actually asked the, the team from Save the Children, so you're doing so much for the women, you're doing so much for the children, you're doing so much for the adolescent girls, but what are you doing about the men? And I'm glad that they also have uh, bazaars and forums for men whereby they can be able to educate them about the impact of some of the activities they do and also sensitize them and educate them and also get them tested and get them on ARVs, which I think is very good in just trying to contain the whole situation. So I want to thank Save the Children. I think they're doing a fantastic job and I can't wait to come back, yeah? As you can see, I already have a new daughter called Jessica and she loves me very much and I love her too and she's so, so, she's such a happy child and it would be good to come back. She's now six months, after 18 months is when we'll be able to find out whether she's uh, HIV positive and HIV negative. Her mom still needs to breastfeed her. So they're all on ARVs and we hope that um, all will be well. I hope you've learned a lot from this and eventually I'll be able to let you know how you can all be part of this wonderful program. And then Josephine and Sarah. Yes. Yeah? yeah. And Jessica. Yes. I remember. Yes. I remember. <laughs> so see you guys. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, very nice to meet you. Yeah. Alright. Go well. Yes. And welcome back again. Thank you, Mom. Yes. Thank you. God so bless much. you. Go well. Oh, God bless you. you. Thank you for the go for you. <laughs> But oh, this so was fantastic, Cecilia. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So All right. Nice to see you. Yes. It's time to... You have given us a chance. We yeah. shall be back. Okay. Yes. It's time to head out, guys. Um, that was our visit at Namukuse Dispensary. And I hope you really enjoyed. It's time to go.